Hey there, it's Fight here with a quick example of how to add a registration page to Kartra. Uh, Michelle asked this and there were a couple of questions. How do I do this with being uh, GDPR compliance, all that kind of thing. So the example I'm going to show you is this one here. Here I have a page and down here you see an opt-in form. Now I've got extra fields, but really the core thing is there's a page with some text and there is an opt-in form down here. So if we look at Kartra, uh, it is this opt-in page here and we edit this yes thank you very much and it's probably my teenage kids sucking dry the internet with YouTube etc so come on what they haven't grasped yet is that they're without knowing it using my YouTube account because that's the one on all the devices in the house so I know what it is they're doing. So here's the text at the top and then you see down here it's basically a form. So all I've done here is I've gone over to components and I have chosen a, an opt-in field. It's basically the one as you can see here it's pretty big so I've chosen this one here the large light fields. That's the one I've just pulled over here. I mean, you know, I could take this new one here and pull it uh, above this one here. And as you can see at the moment, it is a placeholder. There's nothing in it. Whereas this one here actually has the stuff in there. So if I now click on edit style, all I can do is select the opt-in form. And as you can see, I only have one opt-in form in this account at the moment. So basically that's all that happens. And this of course is created in the, not in here, not in the pages, but when you create your forms. So there you go, that's basically it. You know, then you put it in there and that's it. So if I now go back and just dump all of this, uh, this is where you would create your form in my forms. And there's nothing you need to do for a thank you page or anything. That is just your pure opt-in form. So Michelle then wanted to know, well, do I need to put something on the thank you page? Well, in this case, um, this page here redirects to this page. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. Um, actually, I'm not going to run you through it, okay? So I'm going to go, what's my biggest bo uh, bo uh, obstacle? Blah is my biggest obstacle. And I da-da-da-da-da, all this good stuff. And my name this here is sounds like a, uh what's his name elton john song for michelle that's my test email there so now i'm ending up on this page and that is basically you know where i say congratulations you have created your account this is what you need to do next check your email look for an email from me then follow the instructions inside the comp uh, inside to complete the registration process the email looks like this boom okay and in my case that's basically what they're getting. They're getting an email that says enrollment blueprint, all sent out from Kartra automatically um, when they sign up. If you have any questions, boom, boom, boom. So there's nothing on this page here. There is no form, there isn't anything. It's purely, uh, I put a, an image in here, I put an image of myself, some text, and there you go. And then when they've gone through here, they, you know, they go to the inbox, they click on the link, and they end up on this page here, which says, you know, okay, fantastic, everything good. Again, there is no form, there isn't anything. So the only thing that's really left is, well, how the heck do I get them from? Hang on, why, why is this floating around here? Uh, because I clicked on some page, right? How do I get them from this page to um, this page here? somehow magically they need to got go across there and where do you set this now actually i shouldn't say where's this page where are both these pages this page here the uh, you know that that kind of would be the single opt-in but because i'm doing double opt-in i'm saying hey go you know go, go to your inbox click on the link and then that takes you over here and both of both of these links or both of these pages are set in your form and that's kind of a, a circular thing i mean i'm I went in here to say I want to use the one form in here, but inside this form I have to say I want to use this page and this page here. So you, in practice what you need to do is you create this page here and this page first, then you create your form and then you can create this page and embed that form in there. So in your forms you then uh, wait for your internet to come to live or your teenagers to disappear 
and in here in this confirmation step okay you've got this is by the way where you select a single or double personally i tell you what i've done email marketing for i've been doing it for 10 years and of course there's the big debate if i use double opt-in will i not reject a lot of people will they not like my stuff will they not bother signing in and i posted something else here in the carter forum where someone said look you know if people don't download my freebie shall i follow up how often do, should i remind them to download it and my take is if someone is truly interested in your thing they will jump through that hoop right it is an annoying hoop and i asked my wife like what do you think of this and she goes oh it's so annoying when i have to do it and then i asked her look with your f favorite site tree hugger that happens to be her favorite site did you bother and she goes yes i did well why did you bother because you know i want it and that's precisely the point. If people want your stuff, they will jump through the double opt-in. And you are just on the safe side with GDPR, etc. So just do it, right? Um, if anything, I would focus more energy on the pre-qualifying, making sure you get the right people into your funnel in the first place who say, you know what, it is a hassle and we all want to be on the safe side, so I'm willing to jump through that hoop. Anyway, in here... The two pages are the easier. Confirmation page, and all you do is you go in here and click, okay, one of my Carter pages, namely this one here. That is my confirmation page. That was the one you saw here. And then I've got this other one, you know, the success page. I mean, it's exactly the same thing. It's just a different page, which you then get. I, I can't even remember what which one it is here in my case. Is it number 15? Let's find out if it's number 15. Yeah, it's the one, right? So here I now have the, the content they were promised. In my case, it's a video, press play to watch the tutorial on why indoctrination sequences completely missed the point. And you click play and boom, there you go, that's it. So I hope that Michelle uh, and anyone else who is struggling with the idea of the question of how do you add registration pages to your pages in Kartra, that's how you do it. Big picture. Really what you need to do is you need to create, with double opt-in, three pages, namely the, hey, you've jumped through all the hoops and here is your freebie. You know, it doesn't have to be a video, but uh, where, where they get their thing, then the step before that, hey, you must go and jump through the hoop, um, go to my inbox or your, your inbox and click on the link. Uh, once you've created those two pages, you can go and create that form. Um, you then select those two pages. And once you've done that, you create your you know, beautiful page. And all you do is import that component opt-in form, pull in the form you've just created, and everyone is happy. Oh, yeah. And, of course... Uh, if you want to activate GDPR, it happens here, right? In your profile, GDPR, you click a button and you're done. That is so awesome. Uh, if anyone from Kartra is listening, that is so awesome. Thank you very much. I mean, a simple click of a button and GDPR is taken care of. It does not get better than that. Alrighty, cheers. Bye.